Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the what is the chat GPT and we will see what like how we can create the application in the chat GPT. So here first let's discuss what is the chat GPT. So chat GPT is a generative pre-trained transformer which is developed by the uh, open AI in November uh, 30 of 2022. So this chat GPT is kind of a chat board and which has the capability to do any operation. Now operation in the sense like for an example we want to write any code that if we will give to this chat GPT it will create a program for us in that particular language. If we want to write any article or any essay in on a particular topic even it will help us to do that operation also and the response time of this chat GPT it is in a fraction of second in a bit we will see like how we do all these operation with the chat GPT we will go to the like if you want to create any application or if you want any response of your query from the chat GPT what you have to do you have to go on this URL and then you have to create your account and like basically like once you will create your account then you you can what you can do you can give your query it will respond according to that so now to create your account on this open ai so basically this is the url you have to go on this url and like so basically how it look like so this look like like this so you have to click on this try so once you will click on this try what you it will take you to the page where you will see sign up or login page since currently it is in uh, like heavily used so we can't see that page as of now so what it is saying like you can get notified when we are back but since I have already created an account on this um, like uh, this open AI so I'll take you there so like after the login this uh, page look like uh, this one so to create the account so like as I explained like when you will go on the like you, you will click on this uh, from here on this try button it will take you the account page there you have to click on the sign up so in the sign up it asks two things one is the email id and the password so in its email id once you will give and if and once you will sign up there is a confirmation will will come you have to uh, like um, verify your email id after giving uh, verifying your email id then you have to give your personal information and after giving the personal information you have to give your mobile number and after giving the mobile number it will generate a one code that you will get in your mobile number you have to give that code uh, on that uh, like text box and once you will confirm that you will land to this page and here you can see like it has couple of the things which like it has that example it has the capability and the limitations so basically in the example you can see it it already contain couple of the question if you want you can ask it in the left hand side you can see like i have already tried one uh, program here or you can say my query here it automatically record that query here now in the uh, like downside you can see clear conversation dark mode and so many uh, like the setting which a particular open ai contain so now if we want like any query or if we want to respond on our any query so here in the down you can see one text box here you can write any query now for an example like i have a query like what is shisha so that is my query so after writing the query just click on this button so if you will click on this button what it will do it will give us the response you can see it is giving the response in fraction of the second and the response it is in detail and it is telling us what is the shisha in the detail apart from that you can do any operation which you want now for an example if i want to write like write a c sharp program for palindrome so if i want to write a program for this one so basically like just give your query and click on this so after giving on this one like what it is saying it is saying like we and it is going to write that program for us so here you can see it is writing that palindrome program in the shisha and once it is done with the writing that program it will give us the explanation as well like uh, it has created the program now it is giving the explanation to this like how this program will 
work so here you can see like uh, how our query uh, like basically whatever the query we give to, to the this chat gpt it give the response uh, in friction of the second and you can see like whatever the query we have given it automatically record that here and this is the under this one like uh, it has all the responses here so here like uh, you can give your any query and it will give the response according to uh, that like so this open AI in like for an example currently it is in testing phase so as per this uh, the user will give the response they will improve it more so now the uh, question is like where we can use this chat GPT so like majorly this uh, uh, like chat GPT um, like use mostly those which rely on the auto response bot or chatbot like customer service response math solving the issue teaching purpose and so many and apart from that like it also help us to solve the complex query and um, like uh, it save most of the time of us if we talk about the use cases of the chat gpt you can see it help us in the customer service chatbot and apart from that it will help us in the like uh, to write the program in the many in language like for an example c++ python c sharp etc and apart from that like it help us to write the content or script writing basically for the technical marketing or even it will help us to write the code as well and the email as well so multi-purpose so basically this chat gpt help us to uh, in the multi-purpose scenarios so this is the way we can use it if you want to know more about uh, like what is this chat GPT and how we use it you can um, go to the description section and you can find an article link there and you can see like what is the chat GPT and how widely we can use this chat GPT so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you